So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how to use Molstar to view DNA. So first thing up here is changing or loading up our PDP file number and that brings up DNA. So we can start to see the, the backbones, we can see the inward facing nucleotides and we've got these little pink bits around them. We want to zoom in, we can scroll on the, the mouse and um, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the water just to make it a little bit easier to see. I'm going to change our um, color scene. So I'm clicking onto the cartoon and going for full and stick. I'm going to change this under the um, atom ID into element symbol. And that will show up the nitrogens and it will show up the oxygens. The, the carbons will stay um, green and orange under this because of the um, chain identification. But we can zoom in and we can start to identify different bits. So we can look at, for example, between these two, we know that there's two hydrogen bonds that tells us this is thymine and this one is adenine. And we can start to measure some distances. So I'm going to zoom in over here so I can clearly see. And I'm going to click on the cursor. Make sure I'm on atom. And I'm going to click on this atom and this atom. I'm going to add a measurement. Okay, so we've now got a measurement in angstrom, which is 10 to the minus 10 meters. Now that's just one measurement across one nucleotide um, base pair. So we might need to take a, a mean. So we could click on this one and add another distance. And now we've got this. So we've got a, a mean distance between these, or of a length, as it were, of these hydrogen bonds. If we want to look at, for example, this one, which has three hydrogen bonds. You can see this purine ring, a double ring over here, and the single ring. So this means it's uh, guanine and cytosine. So we can select at a distance. Every time you are measuring, you need to unselect the previous atoms. Otherwise, you will end up with um, some funky measurements. Now, if we wanted to um, kind of play about with the how this looks, we might want to um, select different parts. So this little box up here, we can click down and we can identify the specific bases. Okay, and we can start making them look differently. Um, for example, we might want to cartoon to pick out where those um, cytosines are. Okay, so this has the, the cytosine, it has the, the sugar, and it has that phosphate all attached to it. Um, likewise, we might want to change this, um, pick out, let's say, for example, the other pyrimidine, and make that like a little bit more three-dimensional. And we can start to see. So we've got two um, thymine stacked up on next to each other and then we've got two on the complementary strand and it's quite nice it gives you that little highlight along here so we can look at where these different ones are found as well and um, if you want to do any screenshots you've got this little tab here and that can you can copy it and you can stick it into your documents or anything you want